morning. I want to share with you a story I read about online, a little devotion I read about, and I forgot where I read it. And so I can't give credit where credit is due. But it is a story about the uh, Mars rover that on February 18 is going to land on Mars in a rather dramatic way. It'll be going 12,000 miles an hour and then rockets will fire and parachute will open and it should gently land on the surface of Mars. Perseverance, and they call it Percy for short. And Perseverance is uh, about the size of a small car, so it's a pretty big uh, contraption. It has six wheels and uh, can go over all kinds of terrain, of course. It has a little helicopter drone that it can launch and go out and explore ahead of it and then come back and, and land on it again. It has microphones on it so that for the first time ever, we'll be able to hear of what another planet sounds like. And I suppose it will just be wind sounds maybe, but still it will be the first sound audio that we have received from another planet. And then I think very touching, they launched uh, uh, Percy back in July. And when they launched it, uh, of course, we were right in the middle of the pandemic that we're still in the middle of. And uh, they put a plaque on Percy in honor of medical workers who are working so hard uh, for the pandemic and that will of course be on now the surface of Mars and so I think that's kind of neat. Uh, but the devotional that I was uh, uh, that I read about it explained that uh, the, the name of the rover is uh, Perseverance but that NASA also has an identical twin rover on Earth that they named Optimism and Optimism will never go to Mars. Optimism's job is to figure out if anything goes wrong with Percy up there on Mars they can use optimism to try to study the problem or figure out a solution to the problem and, and then be able to fix the problem with perseverance up there on Mars. And, and this person said that uh, he was a little discouraged. He wasn't uh, sure he could be uh, have much perseverance anymore. I just don't want to do this anymore. We've all felt that way from time to time. And he prayed about it. And in his prayer, he was reminded of the very first couple of verses in uh, the book of Hebrews, the 12th chapter. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us set aside every weight and the sin that clings so closely, and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. And he prayed and he confessed to God, I'm not feeling like I've got a lot of perseverance. I'm not feeling like I can run very much more, and I need some help. And God kind of reminded him, he said, of that first verse. We are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. And in the coming days, a number of people, without knowing he had prayed this, called him to offer encouragement. Or when they saw him, they offered some kind of encouragement. And uh, that was enough for him to be able to keep going on. And he said, I am surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. And of course, in some ways, in that uh, uh, first verse there, uh, the, the author of Hebrews is talking about those who've already gone on to be with the Lord and they are, are cheering us on, but, but this person also recognized we have a great cloud of witnesses around us as well, brothers and sisters in Christ who can encourage us. And so let me encourage you this day to either be optimism, the one whose job it is to figure out how to give perseverance, the perseverance that somebody needs to continue going on. Or if you're feeling like perseverance, but you're feeling like maybe you're lagging a little in your perseverance, uh, then pray for encouragers to come forward and see if God doesn't offer you encouragement. It may be through a person, it may be through a 
verse of scripture. Uh, it may be through a sunset, who knows, but God will offer you the optimism, offer you the encouragement you need to continue to persevere, to run the race that is set before you. And of course, we do these things because God is...